is long time no see I say that in every intro because I'm terrible at filming but um, first of all I'm not using my lighting because I just wanted natural daylight lighting and I haven't done that in a while and I kind of missed it plus I'm gonna do my makeup it's gonna be a chit chat get ready with me because I am back home I've been back home for about two days but I am leaving tomorrow to go out of town again for a couple more weeks so I really wanted to film a video for you guys and I have some footage for my vacation that I might make like a little just for like my personal sake just to see like memories and stuff and I might upload that later on like way later on down the road it's gonna be a chit chat get ready with me grab some popcorn grab some food get a drink because it's probably you're probably gonna be here a while it takes me quite a while to do my makeup plus I'm gonna be talking to you guys so yes and I'm sorry that I flash you this tank top likes to roll down mm-hmm but yes, so first I'm just going to get started and talk to you guys while I'm doing my makeup. So I don't have my moisturizer with me, but usually I use my Cetaphil Fill moisturizer, but I don't feel like getting it, so we're just going to hop right into primer. Um, I'm going to use my Wet n Wild primer coverall thing. I don't really know if this works that good. It might just be in my head. I really don't know. So I can't really do a review on it. I've only used it about four times. Um... So I'm just going to dot that all over, mainly focus it where I get really oily, which is about right in here, right in there, or right in there, you know, the typical, and then I'm just going <laughs> to, and then I'm just going to rub it in. So I got back from vacation, um, West Virginia was great, saying goodbye sucked, um, and then my parents picked him up, like I said, in my 18th birthday haul. And we went to Virginia and we stayed there for about three days and then we went to South Carolina and went to Myrtle Beach which was really really fun and then I went back up to Virginia with my cousin to help her out with her recital so I was on the road quite a bit let me tell you um, that was like about a five hour drive back up to Virginia and then after that we went back to South Carolina actually no after that we were there for only a day and then the next day we got up and we went to Florida which was like a 10 hour or 11 hours I really don't know trip so that was great so we went to Florida and I was there for about five or six days and I loved Florida so much I got tan as you guys can probably yeah there's my tan line it's so bad but I like being tan I'm not as tan as I want to be though I want to be tanner but as of right now you know it's all good so I'm going to let that sink in while I get ready for foundation and the foundation I use is my ultimate favorite. I've only worn it once but it was the best foundation I've had and I have oily skin and this is the Infallible Pro Glow and you know this is probably this is recommended for normal to dry skin but this did not get oily and it looked like I wasn't wearing foundation. It is, I've only worn it once, maybe it was just that one day but this was amazing. I love this stuff to death. I like it more than my Tarte foundation. Can you believe that? And the reason why I think is because this Tarte foundation I got what before I got tan, so it's really too light for me now. Um, and it's just really thick for the summer. It's a great foundation. I do like it, but I don't get as oily with this. It's cr it's really weird. I don't know what it is. But this stuff is super liquidy, and it's I think it's fairly new. Maybe not. I really don't know. But um, I'm in the shade 203 Nude Beige because I had to get a darker shade for my summer. And it's still a little too light for my shoulders. But the thing is, this part of my neck, as you can tell, does not tan. I don't know if it's because my double chin casts a shadow when I'm tanning or my face does. So it's way too dark for my neck. So I still have to, bring, I still have to blend foundation down my neck, but I don't care. It matches everywhere else but right in here. But it matches my other body, so y'all um, okay, so I shake it up really nice. It's a nice liquid consistency, which is always serum. If you guys can see, I'll show it to you guys. I don't remember how much I used last time. This might be too much. Um, but yes. And I'm just applying this with a sponge. It's I don't know what brand it is. It's not the beauty. Beauty. It's not the beauty blender or anything. But yeah, so I'm just going to apply that. Like I kind of blended in with my fingers before. Um, if you feel me. So, okay, so after Florida, we uh, took it, it was 18 hours to get back where I live now, um, which I would tell you where I live, my parents don't want me to, so I'm not going to tell you the state I live in, I tried my, hold on, let me get farther in this, in this get ready with me, okay, so I just got back about two days ago, we did about a three hour, it took us about three hours, 
not three hours, three days to get back because we were kind of like sightseeing on our way through all of the lower states like Mississippi. I don't even know if we went to Mississippi. But like Alabama, Arkansas, where else did we go? Yeah, we did go to Mississippi. Um, but yeah, you guys can tell the difference in the neck. It's quite bad. But I have to do it because it matches down here. Which shocks, but you know. Okay, so we went to Mississippi, Alabama, Arkansas, Tennessee, and all those nice lower states. Um, so I got back, not yesterday, but the day before, so July 3rd, I got back home. And I literally just had a chill day. I didn't do anything for the 4th of July which I was okay with because I was exhausted from traveling. My friend Naicha came over like the day I got back and we talked for hours. It was really, really nice. It was nice. I missed her. I miss Bridget so much. Ugh. Okay. So yeah. Okay, so count how many times I say okay, okay? Okay. So I had to like take a breather and finish my foundation because I was trying to think of where I want to what I want to talk about next because I don't want to be blabbering too much in this video. So next we're going to go on to eyes and I'm going to get my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. By the way I'm still doing my makeup out of my travel bag because I am not unpacking just to like pack again for two weeks. So yes. Okay so I'm just going to hop right into the big the big story of this thing. Okay so I am moving officially. I found out that I was moving like my first week in West Virginia and I kind of broke down crying. I was just emotional. I've just been everywhere with moving which is weird because when like in the middle of high school I said I didn't care if I moved after high school because all my friends would be moving and even if my friends and I go to the same college here which is a pretty big, it's not a huge college but it's a pretty big college that makes any sense we probably still wouldn't see each other or anything just because it's college and it's harder to hang out with friends during college i mean i really don't know i haven't tried because you know i haven't been to college yet um so i just said i didn't care where i moved after high school um but then i found out um that bridget is going to a different college but naicha is going to the college here and i don't know if you guys remember my best friend teslin we do videos every now and then anyway she went to japan like a year and a half maybe two years ago but she surprised me saying that she is going to the college i almost said it to the same to, she's moving back and going to the college that i was originally already like accepted and i had my date set to get in like get my classes ready so, but then i had to drop the bomb on her saying oh really because now i'm moving which i don't know if any of you guys can relate having or like a so close of friends and just moving away from them literally it just makes me sad it makes me really sad um because i moved to this town about seven years ago i moved here in sixth grade and i'm now graduated from high school going to college so yeah i found out she was moving back and going to that college that i was going to i'm not going anymore well i'm gonna get further in the story it's a very confusing part of my life right now oh i'm just taking charmer from the tar palette it's like an all-over um uh base for my eyeshadows um so yeah when i was in west virginia my dad called me up and said that he they got the, he got the job and they were going to look for a house which the first house they find i hated which i mean i'm not paying the bills so i can't really have a say in it but i didn't like it but they made an offer and then they got like a test on it um inspected and the inspection came back bad so they had to go to that to there again, which is like a, it's like about an eight hour drive there. Um, and so they had to drive back up there and find a new house, which I like the house they found now. So um, anyway, so we got a house and my dad is leaving this weekend. My dad is leaving this weekend to move there because he starts his new job like in the middle of next week. And then me and my mom are going to go up there sometime next week just to like um, help him get moved in our house and just like look at the area and stuff. And then me and my mom will be moving like the end of September, which means I won't be able to go to my first semester of college, which sucks because I don't want to go 
which sucks because I just don't want to get behind and then not be in the mood to go back to school and then not go to college, which I don't think that's going to happen because I really do want to go to college. Don't ask what I want to do in college. I thought I knew. I don't know what I want to do anymore. I kind of want to be an elementary teacher. I kind of want to be a makeup artist. I kind of want to be a cosmetologist. I don't know what I want to do with my life. So there's another thing that's been going on. Um, next, I'm going to be taking Flower Child and Smarty Pants and mixing those together and putting them in my crease. Um, kind of like a transition shade. So I know that's going on. Um... And then yesterday I went up, uh, I walked outside, my parents are now giving me the option of um, staying here for my first semester and if I like it I could stay um, and figure out what to do after that, either live in dorms or something, um, which dorms are expensive so I don't think we would do dorms. But the college that I was originally going to here, your first two years, you either live with your parents within a 50 mile radius or you live on campus. You can't live on your own in an apartment by yourself and go to college there, which I think is really weird. Unless you're married, you can do that, but um, you can't do that unless... Um, so I couldn't live in an apartment um, anyway on my own, which my dad gave me the option, but that would be hard with bills and stuff. I'd just be working at a daycare, minimum wage, and it would be just something really different that I'm not used to, um, which, so that would be crazy for me to do, but I did think about it. Um, and then, so my dad was going to call the college and see what my options are to see if I could do that, if there's any exceptions they could make then we're gonna do that and I talked to all my friends about it because originally when I found out that I was officially moving I hated the idea but then as the weeks went on I got more fond of it and liked the idea just to start over meet new people which I am terrible at because I have social anxiety as we all know but you know you have to take risks so then the other option was to have my mom stay here till December and I can go to college here but I know my mom doesn't want to stay and it would be hard to move in the winter anyway because I will, um, the place I'm moving to is a colder state. Like I said, my mom doesn't want me to tell people where I live on the internet so I'm not going to tell you where. But it's a colder state, I'll let you know that. It's the northern top colder state, it's one of those. Um, which is going to put a damper on my day because I live like in the middle. Um, I live like in a hot not like super hot subtropical place but like like a tropical place but like I live in a hot humid state and it's gonna be weird having I've lived in a cold state I lived in Montana before it's not Montana I've lived in Montana before but that was when I was younger so I kind of remember having living in a cold state but it's just gonna be weird and I'm probably not gonna like it but I'm but yeah so I'm not gonna have my mom stay in December if I can't live in an apartment and to be honest I'm probably not even gonna live in an apartment, I'll probably stick to the original plan and um, move in with my mom in September and then just start college in the spring semester. Um, now that I've spent like four minutes on this transition shade, which doesn't even matter to begin with, okay I'm gonna go in with Sweetheart and Rebel and kind of blend those in the crease as well. I really don't know what I'm doing with my makeup, I'm just going with it. Um, I'm really sorry about my background. Like I said, I haven't been home. There's like a scale back there. My suitcase is back there. Laundry baskets. I'm so sorry about my background. Um, but yeah, I'm probably just going to stick with moving the end of September. Because I am excited to have a new bedroom and paint it something a different color. And I'm going to be having a gym membership there and just focusing on my health and hopefully losing weight again and um, getting used to the place, um, focusing a lot more on YouTube, that's a big thing. So I'll have a lot of time just to really focus on myself and not worry about school and all that stuff, which is a good thing and a bad thing. Like I said, it's going to be hard going back to school in the spring after having a semester off for me personally. Um, but I talked to my friends about it and like I told them, I'm going to tell you guys, um, in the beginning, like I said, the I didn't have an option to stay here and live on my own. 
and all that just because financially I would I would need help my dad wasn't gonna help me because I'm 18 I should be able to do this on my own if I choose to um, but then he's giving me the option of him helping me financially and if I really did want to stay here then I can but and before I didn't have the option so I was like getting used to the idea I'm sorry if my boobs have been out so I've been getting used to the idea of moving and I was owning up to it but then he gave me the option and every time I have the option to stay close to my friends my heart always leans towards my friends and it's just been I've just thought so much for my future like I don't know what I want to do the future is a really scary part right now for me and it's just it's really, I probably should be zooming you guys in shouldn't I so yeah that is the future just scares me you know I want to know the outcome of each like of the both paths I could take just, just so I could choose but that's not how it works just got to go out on a limb and try new things so that's pretty much what's probably going to happen. I'll be moving the end of September. I won't be going to college here, so, um, and since I'm not going to be living here, I don't have my job anymore, which as you guys, I don't know, I think I said in my last video, I had a job lined up at the daycare I used to go to for high school. She offered me the job, like, the second month of, of my senior year, but I had to wait till I turned 18, and then I was waiting till after my vacation and I was supposed to start work in July but I told her a couple weeks ago that I'd probably be moving and it's just really sad because I'm not going to go there and work for like a month and then move. So next I'm going to be taking Leader and Activist, these two shades right here. So I'm really sorry this is going to be a super long video and my battery says it's low so I really hope it's not going to die on me, that's going to suck. Um. So there's the really big update of my life so far. It was basically just my moving. Um, my dad applied for this job, I don't know, in March. So I mean, I've had this in the back of my mind, but I didn't know if he was going to get it. And then I found out a couple weeks ago and they got a house. I am really excited for the house. It's a really pretty house. I've only seen pictures, but I'm going there. Not this upcoming week, but the week after that, I'm going there and checking it out in person, helping my dad move there. Um, so yeah. And the week I, I will be gone the week Tesslin gets in because she is coming back for good. Like I said, she's going to college here. Um, so I'll be gone the week she gets here, but she has plans for that week anyway. So I hope she has fun if you're watching this Tesslin. Live life, have fun while I'm gone. But when I get back, I'm so excited to see her. I haven't seen her in like 11 months, almost a year. It's crazy. Um, I don't know. But yeah, this is the makeup I'm going for so far. It looks very warm tone, I guess. Um, but yeah. So there's that. What else can I talk about? I really don't know what kind of makeup this is I'm doing. If it's even good, who knows. I'm going back in with that, with Rebel, so I can blend this out a little bit. And I have gotten some new makeup products you guys will be seeing in this video. And I got some really, really pretty things for my new room. My new room theme is going to be like a lilac purple with black so that's gonna be awesome I'm really excited for it um, that's a main thing I'm excited for about moving is my new room to get away from this blue I don't know I like blue and all but you know okay so and then on my lid I'm gonna go in with funny girl but I'll go back in with a different color later but for now I'm just gonna go in with this shiny gold um, funny girl yeah we're gonna go in with that we're gonna go in with that yet. Just kind of blend in with my finger. Um, I also really like this shade Funny Girl in the in the Tartlet palette. I think yeah, Tartlet and Bloom for a highlight. It's really really pretty as a highlight. Just saying. Yeah, I need to get I'll get concealer to clean up my under eye. So for concealer, I'm gonna be using my fave which is the Urban Decay Naked Skin in a Fair Neutral. This might be a little too light for me now that I have gotten a little tanner in my life. Alright, so I'm just going to apply that right underneath here. 
I would bring it down, you know, to the usual. Well, it looks so light on camera. I swear it's not that light. At least I don't think it is. I don't know. Maybe it is. Who knows? Okay, I don't really do every anything else. I'm not typical. I don't know. I don't really go by the rules. If there are any rules in makeup, I don't know. So I'm going to go back in with that sponge that I used to do my foundation and just blend that in. Let's see here. What else has been going? What else can I talk about? Um, I don't really know. I love vacate. I love Florida so much. I wish I could go back. It was a great time I had. It was great. I loved it so much. But tomorrow I leave to go visit my cousin, my other cousin. I just got done visiting cousins, but you know you have other cousins. I'm gonna go visit them for about a week, maybe a little less, um, just because we are moving and we'll be away from my family. We're already now we're like three hours away from my family, but whenever we move, well, my dad's side of the family, my mom's side, we're, we're always far away because they live up in Virginia and Florida. Um, but we'll be farther away from them, but we're still going to make trips because it's not like, a, it's not like the end of the world kind of trip. Like I said, it's like eight hours away. It just kind of does look really late for me. Oh well, but you know, it's still eight hours and, um, compared to three, but actually I think it might be farther. It might be like 11 hours because we're, from where I live now, it's like eight hours, but for my family it might be longer since it's three hours from here to family so yeah I mean I'm gonna put this down the center of my nose and up there from whatever's left on my bra my sponge um to set that I'm gonna use my uh air spun loose face powder and pat right underneath there. I do bake, so y'all. You know, I don't really know if I'm doing anything today. I mean, I will go out and do something because I did my makeup, but really, I'm not really doing anything. <laughs> I just really wanted to film a video and do my makeup because I haven't done my makeup in a while. I look so weird. This brush from BH Cosmetics, I just use it as like an all face brush. And I'm just gonna set the rest of my face. I didn't really blend in my foundation very well on the neck because my hair just covers my neck anyway. So whatever. If you guys are looking for an interesting, confusing read, read Lucid. I went in Alabama. When we stopped in Alabama, there was this um, place called Ollie's, which I went to the book section. And they had really cheap books. They were like, I don't know two dollars three dollars four dollars for like these brand new books um and i got like six books i'm reading now i'm reading a book called illuminated now and then i read lucid like in two days and it was a very very good book i uh but it was very confusing it's kind of like those endings like take it as you will kind of endings like you can kind of like interpret your own ending um I don't know what the author set ending meant to be, but I kind of took it in a different way. But it's a very good book. Um, it's about these two girls that dream that they're each other whenever they dream. Like, they dream that they're living that person's life. Um, I am scared right now. I just pulled out my Anastasia is thing and the other end broke off. Excuse me. Do this dollar elf thing, but I lost my spooly part of my Anastasia. However you want to pronounce it, thingy major. So I'll just brush them out with this. I oh I got my eyebrows threaded probably like a week ago with my cousin and my mom. And I quite like the experience. It's nice. I did like it indeed. See, so yeah, I'm going to use my brow ways in the color medium brown and just fill in my eyebrows. This one needs to be drawn in a little bit 
further, I think. But we're just gonna leave it like this. It's not the worst, at least not to me. Now I'm gonna take this brush by the brush, this brush by BH Cosmetics. Ooh, and Nikki tutorial has just uploaded a video, and I'm gonna just like sweep away the rest, the the powder that was underneath my eyes. Now I'm going to go in with my lower eyeshadow because I'm not going to do any eyeliner mainly because my battery is dying and I don't feel like having to go charge it and all that stuff. I just want to get this video done. So I'm going to use Jet Setter from this palette. I'm basically using the same palette for everything. And I'm just going to rub this on the underneath of my eyes. Um... What else can I talk about? Uh, oh, me and my cousin that I'm going to go visit. Her name's Katie. We're probably... Sorry, I like to listen to depressing music, I know. Anyway, so... My camera died, so I don't have very much time. I just went and charged it while I... This is my mascara. I did do some eyeliner and my lower eyeliner mascara. So, sorry, I had to go off camera and do that. Um, my face looks lighter than my arms because it might be because I need to get a darker foundation. Or it's like the lighting with my camera settings. I really don't know. I don't feel like changing it. But now it is contour time. Okay, so I'm going to be using my Kat Von D Shade Light Palette, which I've used ever since I got it. I hit paint on one of them. Yay me! Um, and I'm going to be taking the same little contouring brush I've been using for years and years, probably only like two years. Um, and I'm going to take the shade right here, which is called Subconscious. And I'm going, wow, my red light's already flashing. And I'm going to contour my cheekbones. Yay. Um, so yeah, me and my cousin Katie will probably film videos because she wants to get into filming videos. She used to film some, but I think she may have deleted them. And I really don't remember her channel, so I will wait till I go and get there where she lives and talk to her about it. And we'll get it going from there. So there's that. And then I go up here. I really don't know what kind of video she's into filming, so we'll find out when we get there. I'm pretty sure she doesn't do beauty videos and like lifestyle videos, so I really don't know what kind of videos she does. Her does. So we'll find out in like a couple days and I don't know how fast her internet is so I don't know if I'll be uploading them when I'm there or I might wait till I get back to upload I really don't know we'll just have to find that all out um yeah so my cat is still calling at the door she's not I'm not like being mean to her I don't know why she's calling at my door um which I missed her sweetie which I missed her very much so. I'm gonna go back in with a smaller, more defined brush and pick up the middle shade and a little bit of this darker shade, like not a lot though. And kind of just carve out my cheekbone. Um, so yeah, like I said, I really don't know what kind of video she's into making, so we'll find out when I get there. Um, and I'm just, I don't even do that. Okay, I'm gonna just do a little bit. I really don't contour my nose that much. But, and I do it very mess messily if I even do contour my nose. Holy cow. Okay, now that that is that, I need to put some color in my face, which I'm gonna be using my Too Faced uh, Sweetheart Perfect Flush Blush for this. And it looks like this. This is so pretty. It's got a highlighter and I'm blushing one. I'm going to use this brush from BH Cosmetics in the polka dot set. And I literally just like tap all around in there. And then I do this and I do that. I just get all up in there. And I focus this on like just right here. And then I go right here. <laughs> I'm pretty messy with blush too. Like I said, there's like no rules to makeup when it comes to me. They're like, don't put it on the apples of your cheeks. I'm going to put blush on the apples of my cheeks if I want to put blush on the ap apples of my cheeks. My face, my rules. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I kind of just swivel this all around. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the under eye concealer might have been a little too light, but in person it really doesn't look that bad. I think it's just the camera lighting doing that to be H. 
And then next I take a, this is like my blush routine lately. I keep looking in the viewfinder, I'm sorry. It's the Tarte Dazzled, the Tarte Amazonian Clay, I think that's what this is. Yeah, 12 hour blush and dazzled and I just like pick that up and I focus this on the outer parts of my cheeks. I don't put this on the apples of my cheeks so it's more of a darker shade. I kind of just blend that in with my contour kind of like that. And this has like really fine specks of gold glitter so it's very very pretty. Very very, so I kind of just do something like that. And then for highlighter, I just take one of these spongy things that I did use earlier for the, um, I used earlier for the, uh, la, 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 la. I'm going fast because I don't want my camera to die. For the <laughs> setting my eye under, but I take a clean one. And I, don't, I have one for this, but I don't know where it went. I don't have time to look. And this is the uh, ColourPop one in Spoon, which is my all-time favorite. It's so gorgeous. And I recommend applying these with a sponge or your finger. Oh, like I barely even tapped it on there and it's already like that. Like I love this stuff. I haven't used my Becca one, my Champagne Pop. I know you're not, I don't know, I put it up here too. Like I, there's no rules to make up when it comes to me. Um, but I haven't used that. I didn't take it to travel because it's just like a broken mess. So I didn't want to like lose any of it, but I don't even feel like taking that out. Like I love my highlighter routine lately. So like after I dab that in and blend it in and all that jams, it's so pretty. Um, I go over with, um, some days if I really want to like do three layers, I'll go over with pre this, um, funny girl from the Tarlet palette but I don't feel like doing that today I'm just gonna go in with my so originally I'll go over with that and then I'll put this on top of it which is the Urban Decay Naked Illuminated palette or a little thingy in Aurora Aura I think and but I don't feel like doing the Tarlet one today so I'm just gonna whistle this all in there <laughs> whistle it all in there and just put that on there which I live for a highlight it's crazy Crazy. My friend Bridget were talking about we didn't even know highlighting was a thing. Like we thought like highlighting was just made up like recently in the past years, but no, highlighting's been around for like ever since makeup. But we were just too new and young to like know about it. And then a lot of times I'll take this and just like apply it all over myself because it's like sparkles and I love sparkles. So yeah. I love sparkles. <laughs> okay. And that's it for my makeup. I don't do lip. I, you guys are probably cringing out there if you like lip stuff, but usually I just wipe it off, put some chapstick on, and I'm good to go. I really don't wear a lipstick or a lip gloss or anything. It's just chapstick, if anything, but this is what I came up with. I really hope you guys enjoyed listening to me talk about my life. This is probably a really long video, so if you guys stuck to the end, please comment down below. Oh gosh, what do I want you guys to comment down below? Comment down below Rudolph if you can if you stay to the end because I love Christmas and it's like almost Christmas time again, just like five months, right? I don't know. But yeah, comment down Rudolph if you stayed to the end. And if you did, you guys are the real MVPs. I love you guys so much. And yeah, I will do some close-ups of my makeup at the end so you guys can see a more closer look, but yeah, this is it for this video. I hope to see you guys soon and have an amazing summer if I don't see you soon, which hopefully I do. But I hope you guys are having an amazing summer so far and loving life and just living it to the fullest. So I love you guys so much and I will see you guys when I see you guys again. Bye!